Hi guys, um, continuing off from the previous video in the series is about information theory. Today we'll be diving into entropy. Alright, so entropy. So remember the bit formula from last lesson? The bit formula was given by the negative binary logarithm. So the bit formula accounted for a single event. But what happens when there's multiple events in a system? What happens when there's unbalanced probabilities and there's more than one? That's when entropy comes in. Entropy is the weighted average of a system of probabilities. So while the bit formula was for a single event, entropy calculates the weighted average of all events. Think about what I mean by weighted first and what the entropy formula might be when I mean weighted average. So here's the formula. Your first thought might be, What's the squiggly thing, the squiggly symbol that, that looks like a Greek letter? That's the sigma notation or summation. It basically just means sum it all up or like add it all together. To add all possible values of the expression that follows it. So taking a look at entropy formula, it's the sum of the bit formula again for the probability value and then it's times by the probability. So that's what I mean when I say weighted, because you weight it, weight the bit formula of all values of uh, probability with the probability itself. Think about it deeper. Why do we do this? Why do we weight it um, with the probability to the bit formula again? We do this for balance. So if P is the um, a half or 50%, it will receive much more weight than if P was just one over five or 20%. This balances it out and ensures that the more likely outcomes receive more weight and the less likely outcomes receive less weight. In summary, we will just use the bit formula as discussed in the previous video, video multiplied by the probability itself as a weight, and then add all values of the probability together. If you are still confused, that's totally okay. We can review this experiment again and calculate and see how we actually calculate entropy in real world to get a better understanding. So in the previous example from the previous video, we had a biased coin with heads as 75% and tails 25%. We concluded using the information bit formula, negative binary logarithm of the probability, that heads was less informative and tails was more informative. Because tails was more uncertain and heads was more certain. So now the formula. We have Entropy equals to the negative summation of the probability multiplied by the binary logarithm of the probability. So substituting that in, it uh, would um, do the brackets first. So for the first one, it's heads. So it's 75% or the same thing as 3 over 4. 3 over 4 the binary log times binary logarithm of 3 over 4 plus... 1 over 4 and times the binary logarithm of 1 over 4, since we're weighting it, as you can see, with the probabilities themselves. And if you dump that into a calculator, you get 0 0.81 bits. So the entropy of this system is 0 0.81 bits. The entropy, given these conditions, are 0 0.81 bits. In summary, entropy is simply just um, the normal bit formula multiplied by uh, with a weighted average. So multiplied by the probability again. Of course, don't forget the negative sign. And then the summation sign, the, the sigma Greek letter sign, tells you to add it all up. To add all the calculated information for each probability together, which in this case is heads and tails.